guilty on multiple counts. A judge reached a verdict today saying Shanithia Gardner was able to appreciate the culpability of her actions when she stabbed her four young children to death. This verdict rejects her defense team's argument that she was insane at the time and wasn't fully aware of her actions. WRG Shea Arthur spoke with prosecutors about the case. Really, this case came down to what was Gardner's mental state at the time of those killings. It's a heartbreaking case that has gripped so many across the Mid-South for several years now. Today, prosecutors in the case telling me they're pleased with the verdict. And we're really happy to get justice for Yazi, Savi, Sia, and Talon. Four little lives, a five-month-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, and four-year-old brutally taken by their mother, Shanithia Gardner, in 2016. Gardner looked down, emotionless, as Judge James Lammy read his decision. The verdict was Lammy's to make, as Gardner did not have a jury trial. Judge Lammy acknowledging he believes Gardner does have mental illness, but did not believe she was going through a psychological episode at the time of the murders. Her defense team argued she was, that as a paranoid schizophrenic, she thought her children were about to be raped and tortured, and that ultimately killing them would help them. To you, what was the biggest piece of compelling evidence that she knew what she was doing? We, we felt that that uh, we've always said that we, she has mental disease generally. Uh, we felt that she knew what she was doing on this day because of all the domestic conflict that, that she had had with her husband over the years and, and leading, in the very days leading up to this. Prosecutors also believe she actually let her fifth child, a seven-year-old boy who was also in the home at the time of the murders, go. He was a child she had by another man. They also believe she faked a suicide attempt. I mean, there's really no words for what was witnessed. I mean, you could see with the responding officers all these years later and, you know, their emotion, and it's like it was yesterday for them. Shea Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. Attorneys say that they have spoken with the child's father and that he was satisfied with the verdict. Gardner will be sentenced at the end of next month.